Almost every cottage in the region has a wood-burning stove, which we use to make flatbread. The bread is made out of flour, water and salt. And back in the old days, people baked as a way to preserve the flour. I've come to meet Emily, who's going to show me how they make the flatbread here in Resele. So welcome. This is the flatbread Hello. bakery. Hello. Come in. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. The nice things about flatbread in this region is that every village has got their own recipe. It's never the same. In this area, we've been able to grow barley. Mm. So you have to get used for the barley. Yeah. So that is why it's mainly barley in this recipe too. So you can do it one more time and then we'll just put it up here. Yay! Nice. Just like that. Nice flatbread, just like that. One of the reasons why people choose to move to Resel is because we have got an entrepreneurial vision of this village. Mm. And also people that move here right now are really creative. And they bring their kids, they bring their wives or their husbands, they bring their mothers and fathers, their grandmothers and everything because this is a lifestyle. We can do things together. I think that together is a word that we have to use a lot more often. We're a family, this village, and we help each other out. Okay, it's time for the famous fermented herring. This region's rather special and somewhat strange way of preparing fish to create an incredible culinary delight. This is it. It's a world center of fermented herring. World center of fermented uh, herring. It comes in and we put it into maximum salted brine for 24 hours. And okay. then it starts to ferment. And it ferments approximately for eight weeks. And then we put the can on the table together with friends. We open the can and then we start our journey to Nirvana. <laughs> Are you ready? I, I'm very ready for this. Full of, I'm full very, of very ready for this. That was beautiful. Ah, yes. That actually calmed me down. Put me in so strumming mood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the smell, the, uh, as some people would say, stench, but smell is very, very intense. It's, uh, this is one of the most um, extreme types of food that you can probably get in Sweden, or I would say anywhere else in the world. I'm very excited and just, a little bit scared of eating it. Here we go. And you be the judge whether it's good or not. Uh, oh, it looks good. Did yeah, you that's... bake it yourself? I did. Perfect. Is it? So this, this semi-soft texture is what we're looking for. Great. The classic is a piece of fish. Yes. A little sour cream, red onion, then just for the color or something like that. You can have a piece of tomato. Let's have it. Salute. Mm. No matter what you might think of fermented fish, this is a delicacy. It's yeah. absolutely a delicacy. I need a vacation. <laughs> <laughs>I've decided to accept the challenge and climb the high coast's most popular tourist spot, Skulebergat. This is Sweden's highest marine coastline at 286 meters above sea level. But not all tourists will do what I'm about to do in order to get to the top. It's a little bit wet today, but you, see, you look strong. <laughs> so this is the toughest we can do today. That's so. the kind version. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, I wouldn't be able to handle the others. <laughs> so. No, no. so this is the toughest to do today. The wall we're going to climb is 250 meters high. And the wire is 294 meters. 
294. Yeah, so it's a steep one. So I'm behind you. Okay, good. I'm your airbag. <laughs> This is it! <laughs> oh. Yes! I'm on top of the world! I can't believe I climbed those 250 meters. You've got to have a look at this. 